Oh, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions, Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. And I've got another demo for you today of one of our database templates. So we'll go over to the www.microsoftaccessexpert.com website. We'll go ahead and scroll down here to the database templates. And the one we're going to check out today is a new one we just added. It's called the Basic Access Calendar Scheduling Database. It's a... Uh, Simpler version, not as many features as our standard edition uh, calendar scheduling database, and definitely does not have the features of the enhanced calendar scheduling database. Um, here on the page, you can either go ahead and purchase it or download a demo, which is what we're going to do. You can also scroll down and see some screenshots here of the various features of this uh, template. And I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the demo link here and save link as. And I'll go ahead and save that to my desktop. And if you haven't worked with zip files before, I will put a link in the description so that you can access the uh, video tutorial on working with zip files. So we're done with our browser here. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Here's our zip file. I'm going to right click and extract all. I'm going to say to extract to the desktop creates a new directory and here is our access calendar database demo we'll go ahead and double click on that and as it opens here we're going to get a uh, Microsoft access security notice we're going to go ahead and select open I'll put uh, a trusted locations link uh, to a video that will tell you how to work with uh, adding trusted locations and here we've got some ways you can contact us. This is a demo version of this uh, database template, so it won't save. When you close and open it again, it'll not have any of the data you entered before. We also have some abilities here to contact us via email, messenger, Skype, online chat, and a contact form. We can go ahead and close that out. And here we are with the uh, basic version of the calendar database. You have the ability to jump between day week, bi-weekly, and month view. You can also select an individual person to look at here. We've got uh, some example people here. Uh, you have the ability to maintain the people in the database, which I will go in here and we'll be working with P7. So we'll select them and oh, actually we'll go with P8. And we'll select a color for them. Let's go with orange here. And we can go ahead and close that. So now let's go more on person eight. Let's see here. Let's go January 30th. And let's type in a new item here. And we can tab down and this is another new item. And we've got a couple of views that we can do here as well. Uh, let's see here. We can go print. And there you can see it's got my color in there. And then print on landscape. There's also a section I didn't cover yet, which is the setup, which just has some general settings you can set the first day of the week. If you want to show a work week or a full week, uh, that's entirely up to you, whether you want it to print. Uh, portrait or landscape, whether it prints the detail when you go to print, whether it prints the colors that you've selected. You've also got the default view and a date format, whether you want month, day, year, or day, month, year. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. <coughs> Another nice feature that we have here is the ability to search. So I can search for all of P8 and we'll run the search. And there's my two entries that, that were in there. We can print a detail, which shows the items and the dates for the schedule. We've also got a print summary, which will show all the items for each person. Uh, I currently have it filtered by person. You can also enter in a start date or end date that you want the report to run f for, from and to. You've also got export to Excel, which is a nice feature just in case you need to export the data. And there you can see that it's got my ID there, the time, the dates, and the subject, as well as the color that was used. We'll go ahead and close that. Close that. 
And that is, well, let's, let's jump over to another one here. Let's go to P7. And we can put in is person seven's task. And now we'll look at some of those reports again uh, by going up to search. And we'll just say all people this time. We'll go for print detail. And here you can see that person seven item was added in there. So this is a very basic uh, scheduling database that allows for multiple people, uh, some configuration options. Uh, you can add this to an existing database. If you need help with that, just contact us through one of the various ways. Uh, you can also add this to or use this as a starting point for a new database if you need a new scheduling database. If you need help with that, you can contact us with that as well. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe. We'll be posting more videos shortly. And go ahead and visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll put links to those in the description below. Thanks, and have a great day.